Hey guys, good morning. How are you all doing today? I trust that you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are. You know, doing something positive and staying safe. Today, I'll be covering yet another video for ARD. And this video is no other than Easter celebration. I'll be taking you guys with me around so you can see how Easter is being celebrated in Guyana. But before, let me just give you a quick peep as to what's happening down in our kitchen. So over here, we have my lovely husband, Singh. Hey, what's going on? Who is uh, preparing some barbecue for us. Look at that goodness there. We already finished some. Looking all yummy. And he has some more here to finish off. And let me take you in the kitchen and show you what I've made. Here we have some cherry rice. Over here, our salad, of course. And here we have some nice baked macaroni. Look at what this plate of goodness looks like. We're gonna have somebody dig into this and tell us how it tastes, all right? So, sing. Kindly do the honor of tasting. Cheers. Wonderful. Great. And the barbecue. Take the barbecue. I want to get a review on the barbecue. Is because you cook it, no? Not you're gonna really. always say it tastes good. Huh? Alright, bye, if you say so. Alright, guys, so we're on the road, and um, the first place I'm gonna take you is the Monrepo's um, ball field. After which, I'm gonna take you to the Lusignan golf ground. And I have a full crew here with me. I have Singh, I have my aunt. And I have Priscilla, my cousin. Them uncle knocking a thing there. It's not really bright, but you can see a few people flying kites, some people picnicking. All right. We're gonna go to Gold Ground. Back in the days, I used to come here when I was smaller. My parents would take me here to fly kites. We would, um, you know, cook up a pot of food and go and spread like a tarpaulin and you know, put up a camp. And we, you know, we would have some good fun. So we are approaching Lusignan Golf Course. Wow, it's packed here. This look more like Easter. Wow. Look over there. And the gold in our head is flying proudly. It looks really nice in here. really really 
fully packed here also. You can see a lot, a lot of kites flying up there. And you know, the good thing about Easter is that people from all races and you know religion celebrates it. I mean, Easter is a resurrection of Jesus Christ, but yet again, it's a Christian uh, holiday. But a lot of people from different races choose to celebrate it. And the same thing happened when it's Pagwa and Diwali and, you know, Christmas. You know, given the fact that we have been on lockdown for two years, almost two years, the country has finally reopened. So... This is something we all were expecting, right? Wow, look over there. I think this is the biggest Easter ever I've witnessed. It's having fun, man. Long ago when you kite cut, right? Cry? You'd cry for another one. You'd be vexed. How many of you can remember that feeling? And this is the biggest kite I've seen for this afternoon. Look there, right there. yellow kite we're gonna take a drive past by the national park and see how in there looks the national park is also very packed I notice more kids over this side I guess you know the family feels a little bit more safer to um, have the kids here That's the best feeling over there where the uncle or the auntie is enjoying the hammock. They also set up like um what do you call it? A tent? A trampoline? A trampoline. Yeah. For the kids, you see that? I wish I can be in the hammock. <laughs> Auntie taking a nap there. Hey RD, just wanted to know you should have been the one covering this video. fishing down there yeah hey, already you get the part now <laughs> she fishing for like a nanny or what them kids playing football Somebody kite caught a look. <laughs> See, the twine is on our car. Uh oh. I'll tell you what, right? If I fly a kite and the kite is singing, 
or the kite in pulling, there's no fun in me flying that kite. Trust me. Thousands of people came out to celebrate Easter this year. Because with the amount of people I've noticed, it's countless. example of what marshmallow looks like in Guyana also that's how packed it usually be long ago when we could not have um, get hold of a kite we would normally take point brooms and um, you know take a page out of our book and make a kite called Cuddy Old Punch I'm not sure how many of you know of that one but you know you just thread that um, pointer through the the page and you tie on some strings and you're good to go you get kite Easter feels so colorful this year so we are at the wrong about here making our way to the ogle seawall thought of um, doing a video from uh, UG on our way back to Ogle but with the amount of crowd we decided that we'll start it from the roundabout all the way up to Ogle. Oh, look at that kite! 
What is that? It's a wheel. It's a wheel. The dog. <laughs> Up here is more park. You see more kites flying here. Wing and much wire is up the side. So I guess that's why you can see more kites here. want to play games so we're gonna go and take a drive at the seawall with her and then we're gonna close the video the sunset has faded and the crowd is getting larger and larger 
after two hours. and lively but I think everybody came out and enjoyed themselves to the fullest because you don't know what happens next year. Right, right, right. Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's really nice. Did you regret coming out here? No. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's good. The rest of the ARD crew could be here though. I know, right? We miss you guys so much. Come back home, alright? I swear we're having an amazing sunset. Wow, look at that. Everybody's about to go home. Um, most likely the party will go on until 10 because well everybody enjoying itself. But we'll be going now and we'll enjoy the rest of the night by ourselves. I hope you guys stay safe. Stay positive. And until then, we'll see you in another adventure. adventure.